Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is Rosie, and welcome to Basset Hound Central. Today we are going to be discussing whether or not Basset Hounds can be trained. Uh, the Basset Hound is definitely known as being a stubborn dog with a mind of its own, and I would definitely agree with that, but uh, you can train them, and I will demonstrate some of the things today that a Basset Hound can do. So if you like Basset Hounds, then this channel is for you. I would tell you to go ahead, take the subscribe and the like button out for ice cream and let them drool all over your car. All right, let's go. So I definitely agree that Basset Hounds can be a more stubborn breed and harder to train but it's something that can be done for sure. Now, when I give her commands, she may not be as snappy as a well-trained German Shepherd or Belgian Malinois, but she's still going to listen to my commands. So let's go ahead and see what Rosie can do. You ready to work, Rosie? Okay. All right, Rosie, stay. Rosie, come. Good girl, good girl, sit, good girl, down, what a good girl, yes, you're a good girl. So there you go, I mean basic sit, stay, come, lay down, she can do all of that. Um, probably one of the most important things that she can do is place. And when we get back home, I'll show you how she can do that and why it's such an important thing for her to do. But let's go ahead and show you some more. All right, Rosie, stay. Stay. When I take Rosie for walks, I typically don't make her heal because she's so good on the leash, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate how she can heal on a leash. Rosie, heal. And she's trained to sit when I stop. Rosie, heal. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. I think one of the most important things you can do when training a basset hound is to train them how to place. And the reason why I say that is one, um, for your own peace of mind, we primarily use it when we're eating rather than have a dog sit uh, at our feet and beg. I'd rather place her and have her lay down on her bed until she's released after we're done eating. Also, it's a good safety measure if you have people visiting you and you want the dog to be calm, you can place them. Or we also use it, we will place her on the couch when we bring in our groceries. Um, because we're coming in and out of the house, we don't want her to accidentally slip up. So it's great for her safety as well. So I'll demonstrate Rosie placing. All right, Rosie, place. Good girl, stay. So that's the place on her bed, and now I'll show you placing her on the couch. So right behind your perspective is our entry to the house, and that's where we bring our groceries in and out. Even though we do shut the door slightly, we just wanna make sure she, that Rosie doesn't uh, run away while we're trying to bring groceries in. So I'll demonstrate placing her on the couch. Rosie, place. Stay. Good girl. And then uh, after we're done bringing in all of the groceries, uh, and actually grocery day is her favorite day, for whatever reason she loves sniffing out the groceries, uh, I'll just give her the command and she'll be released. Okay, Rosie. Okay. So can basset hounds be trained? Absolutely. It just takes a lot of hard work 
some patience and uh, they'll do it. They're definitely food motivated, food driven. And Rosie is testament to the fact that you can train a Basset Hound. It's good for yourself as an owner, for your peace of mind, but it's also great for the dog and their safety. Teaching them to sit and stay and to place can mean a long, happy, healthy, safe life for them and for you. Until next time, take care.